Hi, Keith here with Longwell Technologies. A client today contacted me and asked about customer signatures. They do route sales, and an important part of it is getting the customer signature at the end. So on their uh, tablets, the customer in normal times would just take the tablet, sign it with their finger. Same thing as what you do uh, at the grocery stores and Walmart and every place where a lot of those places you put in your credit card or something and you do a touchpad um, signature. And she told me that the challenge they're having right now is that a number of their customers, because of the coronavirus, uh, even though they're wiping down, they've got uh, the uh, cloths and they're doing a rub, alcohol rub and cleaning the whole device down before they hand it to the person to then sign or hold it up so that the person only has to touch that area of the screen even. So they're holding it like this. The person only has to touch this area of the screen and they've just wiped it all down with uh, the alcohol and everything. And the customers are still reluctant to do it. And um, I can definitely understand that. And certainly even more so if you go to the grocery store, you go to Walmart or any place where you're supposed to do uh, any of the essential stores, um, and you need to do a signature on the signature pad. Well, there's a, you know, you didn't touch anything else in the store except for things you picked up and you wiped down your cart before you got there, but a thousand people touched that pad and was it cleaned? How well was it cleaned? Um, so it came up uh, with a couple of solutions and looked at things like plastic wrap. Uh, for the record, I'm not going to go through this, but plastic wrap, actually you can tear off a small piece of plastic wrap, put it around your finger, and it does kind of let you swipe. The plastic wrap is very sticky, and so though it does conduct through the tablet, very sticky and kind of hard to do a signature. Piece of aluminum foil. Now aluminum foil works really well. Um, you tear off a piece of aluminum foil, and you can then wrap that around your finger, and that works very nice. Um, problem with this though is if I'm going to the grocery store, do I, am I walking around with this? Um, or if I'm going into a customer and my hands are all over this, and no, I've wiped it, how many other people have touched this before I'm peeling off my little piece of aluminum foil? So came up with a little bit more uh, uh, disposable, one type, one, one, one use that most people have, or you can very easily get your hands on. Uh, so I'll just jump to those solutions right now. The first off would be post-it notes. Now, these do not work perfect, but these are pretty good because most offices have these. So if you're going into a business, you've got these. If you're at home, you may be able to take a pack of these and keep it in your pocket. And what you can do with these is, uh, there are, I've got a couple samples here One of ones. These are a little bit thicker. These are, this one here is a little bit thinner. The little bit thinner one does work a little bit better, a little bit easier. Um, if I take my finger and then put it inside here. Now the paper does not really do it on itself. You do have to apply pressure by having your finger pressed up inside here. Kind of wrap it a little like this. I think you can hopefully see that. And then with your screen, I'll bring it up close here. Okay, so on this Android device, I'm going into Evernote, and I'm just going to go into a handwriting mode. Now with my finger inside here, I'm going to press, put a big X. Uh, you can kind of loosely sign your name, just like we all know how those, and I'm using my finger, I know, but it's my device because you can't aim as well to tell it to undo. Um, so the aiming isn't as good, but you can roughly write your name about as poorly as it writes on the signature pads anyway. And this works on the Android. This also works on an iPad. So putting my finger in there, I got a little bit bigger screen space to work with. And that works pretty well. But this is a thinner one. Now if I use a little thicker post-it note, it will still work. If 
fold it, kind of point my finger in there. Notice I'm keeping my fingers away from the edges there. So as this device is sitting there uh, in somebody's hand, if it's a salesperson or on the counter at the checkout um, area, again, I'm touching it, I know. Um, but now I can sign I somehow got it set on some kind of delete. Oh, I got it on a delete function. That's what it was. Um, and now I can turn on the pen. And this is a thinner one than the thick. The, the signature is thinner on this with a thicker paper. The thinner paper allows a little bit thicker writing. is a little bit easier to use. But a post-it note works really well. Another thing that also works really well. Now this one's kind of neat. Um, if you don't have one of these and you're at the checkout line, or if you are doing uh, sales, it's just, uh, it could be a little nice thing to the customer um, that you carry these with you, is gum. If you get gum that has the uh, cellophane wrapper around it, excuse me, not cellophane, but the foil, uh, Trident happens to have that. And using, so I've got the pack of gum, I open it, I offer my customer to take one and try and get them only touch one piece of gum. If they take that one piece of gum, now there, feel free to chew it, which is always nice in a video to have people chewing gum. Now this is aluminum foil, and it works as a great conduit as well. So I can take this, wrap my finger in here, and it works on these devices. So uh, it can be a nice thing to do for your customer where it's just a little nicety. You're giving them a piece of gum. Yeah, or if you're at the checkout counter and you did not bring a post-it note, buy a pack of gum that has the foil, such as Trident. I have no affiliation with Trident. There are other gums that have this. This happens to be the one that we had to try. And uh, now I've got a one-use disposable uh, stylus, if you were, where the consumer does not have to touch the screen and I can throw this wrapper away or keep it for another use because it's mine. Um, but it makes it a one-time use, disposable, inexpensive way to get, you, get your signature, which you need to do, without touching the, something that may be contaminated from coronavirus. What other ideas do you have? What other things have you tried that could uh, do the same thing? I'd love to hear your responses below. Stay safe, stay healthy.